wonderful shots here. Oh yeah, and you, we're up in the uh, media area. We're starting the next uh, medal ceremony, but all the fans and photographers are down there to grab photos. These pictures will be all around the world, probably already. So the men's victory ceremony now. Cerimonia di premiazione della specialità singolo maschile senior. Victory ceremony men. Chris, I want you to think about while we watch this, because I'm going to ask at the end again, is if you could change anything in the sport, any rule, what would it, what would it be? That's a good question. I'm glad you give me a bit of time to think about it. Okay, what's your answer? No. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get through this first. You know, look around, Chris. Look at the audience. Yeah. No one has left their seat. No, it is packed <laughs> to the gunnels. Absolutely packed. Here we go. Bronze medalist. Of the bronze medal from France, Kevin Amos. Well, what an event he has had. He's had a good Grand Prix series, but... Uh, the climax has been here, fantastic on the short, and he did it again in the free. Well, I never reveal any of my favorite skaters, uh, but when he was on the Junior Grand Prix circuit, even though he didn't win a lot, he was absolutely one of my favorites. He's unique, he's innovative, he's special, he's emotional, he's inspirational. Yes, he is, he's, he's a joy to watch, he's got it all. And uh, as you were saying earlier, he really does wear his heart on his sleeve. And the smile on his face. Yeah. <laughs> Secondo classificato e vincitore della medaglia d'argento dal Giappone. Second and winner of the silver medal. Here we go. Yuzuru Hanyu. Well, this guy was so majestic in defeat in the press conference. He's class. He really is class. He's a class act. He was thanking uh, Nathan for pushing him and giving him competition. And... Uh, well, both guys admitting that they look up to each other. What a fantastic duel it's going to be over the next couple of seasons. What a gentleman. And that is a badge of honor. Yeah, really. It's his birthday today. Is it really? Yes. Wow. Happy birthday, Han Yu. Gracious in defeat. Primo classificato e vincitore della medaglia d'oro dagli Stati Uniti d'America. First and winner of the gold medal from the United States of America, Nathan Chen. Well, it's Rocket Man. This guy, as I said in the commentary, is from another universe. How on earth you keep your wherewithal when all that was going on around him uh, prior to his performance, I don't know how you keep your focus and concentration. This guy is superhuman. Well, he's a rocket man and the scientist who built the yes. rocket. <laughs> yes. he's, he's a brainiac. That guy is so focused and so in emotional control. Such an app. He's an amazing man. Absolutely fantastic, a beautiful program, program that had everything. And uh, remember, he's finished this with uh, a new world record score in the free. And overall, he's blown his own world record completely out of the water. I wonder how he feels about that. I mean, if you beat somebody else's world record, you're, you're just thrilled. Yes. If you beat your own. <laughs> but he was so uh, almost underwhelmed, even in the press conference. He's just yeah. taking his stride, you know, it's another day in the office. Does he have yet to still skate? How, how, how do they drive themselves for so long? Especially when you think he's doing all, all the studies. He's, yeah. he's virtually training on his own. A little oh. bit of coaching via Skype with uh, Raphael. And I asked Raphael, how did they, uh, how did they approach the, the coaching metho methodology um, from a distance like that? Because he's not there and he's coaching on his own. He said, well, rather than actually coach him, I've taught him how to train. So he's able to train on his own. Wow. It was a fantastic, uh, fantastic thing to say. And he said, if you watch us on the training sessions, if you watch us on the warm-up, 
We don't talk to each other very much, no. but when we talk, we talk. Yeah. Very smart man. Uh, absolutely, yeah. Very smart man. Well, that's a wonderful podium. It is. And Kevin there, he said at the press conference, he said, I can't, I can't believe I'm sat here with these two guys. Never in my wildest dreams did I imagine I'd be on the podium with them. And the, and the great thing is that there are other men sitting at home watching, I want to be on that podium. Yeah. These are not the only three. There are more. And the sport is, as we said, in good hands for the future competitions. It certainly is. And you know these guys are going to push it. Yep. Han, you were saying that uh, he had half a mind to put the quad axle in the program because he got nothing to lose. He knew he probably couldn't win after the mistake in the short program, being 13 points behind. And he was thinking about it. First time he's done the fi five quads, the quad lutz. He said that was an achievement because he's been a bit, in the past, he's been scared of the quad lutz because he had a bad injury on it, ah. had a bad fall. Mm. And uh, in the back of the mind, it's, uh, it's not been good, but. Uh, he managed to get that out, and that was a goal for this event. Well, he nailed it tonight, that's for sure. He certainly did. What a moment, three in a row. Wow. And you don't fancy it's going to end there, do you? No, you don't. But, you know, looking forward to the, that might be one of the great rivalries in uh, figure skating history. Yeah. In fact, in, uh, in all sport, it's going to be up there, isn't it? It sure is. And I'm sure the media will pick up on that as we get closer to Montreal in the 2020 World Championships. And that's where they'll next meet. I can't wait. Can you imagine there? Ticket sales, uh, we hear, are going well. Absolutely. There are some upper bowl tickets, okay? They're not yeah. the best seats. They're still excellent uh, viewing of the rink. Can you, you be in that arena when this happens? Can you imagine, eh? You want to miss a, an opportunity like that. No, it's going to be unbelievable. And, of course, they've got a special award show as well, the, the exhibition, and I want to I wanna guarantee the... the, the fans out there that exhibition is skating it's skating exhibition all the top three of the each category and some more guest skaters will be invited there'll be an exhibition in addition to that there'll be some nice music there's going to be the seven awards of which uh, uh skating fans and the media and the federations can vote on uh like an academy awards with a red carpet event just before that uh it's going to be so exciting Give this a chance, you're gonna love it, and it's the right thing to do for the sport of figure skating. Yeah, and uh, talking to the skaters and the coaches around, um, everybody's giving it the thumbs up, so I think it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be a great event, and we I wish the organizers a lot of luck because first time round it's gonna be a headache. Yeah, it's a tough one, that's for sure. Yeah. Well yesterday in the junior ladies uh, press conference, they asked about the award show, they all knew about it, and they're thrilled uh, two of them are on the uh, um, uh, nominee list. So they're just thrilled about this award show. They think it's a great idea. Uh, excited to, to watch this. Of course, there'll be sort of paparazzi and photos and interviews on the red carpet. Uh, and then the exhibition will take place. And skating is the forefront. That is what that event is about. You will enjoy that. Give it a chance. 
going to be a lot of fun. Yeah. You know, obviously, first time out, maybe some things that they want to fix for the next years. But I'm sure there'll be some hiccups, but uh, the great thing is that uh, you watching at home, you can get involved. So uh, take a look at the uh, ISU website. You can see how to vote for your favorite athletes and uh, coaches and, and, and be a part of that uh, great event. And that's what the ISU wants. They yeah. want the fans to be part of this. Yes. And uh, I think the great initiative, uh, looking forward to how that unfolds in March. Yeah, I can't wait. It's going to be an amazing world championships in every discipline. Out of Beijing 2020. Yeah, I know it's, it's just around the corner. So there it is. Nathan victorious for the third time in a row. Mr. Han Yu. Just and he gave it his best shot, didn't he? He was absolutely down and out at the end of that free program. Somebody asked him, Why did what happened on the triple axle at the end of the program? That's an easy element for you. He said, I was exhausted. He was out of gas. Yeah, completely out of gas. Must have stayed on his knee for a good 30 seconds, yeah. not able to get up. Yeah, purely exhausted. It's. Uh, I know they've uh, reduced the length of the program, but with these guys putting in five quads in four minutes, it almost makes it harder because there's less breathing points in the program. And in retrospect, that might have been a really good decision. Ah, yeah. Back to the question for you. Oh no! You could change I thought you forgot. Nice try, buddy. The, the, you could change something in the sport. What would it be? If I, do you know what? I don't know. Not suggesting that we need to. I think the way the judging system is evolving um, is fantastic. I tell you, there is one thing I was a little bit disappointed with that after the Olympics, I would have liked to have seen some changes in the uh, requirements for the spins because the everybody's getting level four spins now because they've learned how to do it. And I think they should have pushed the bar to make it harder to get a level four. Fair enough, that's so, a good idea. Like yeah. some positions that are extraordinarily difficult. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's a, that's a good comment. Yeah, I think that's, uh, yeah, to make the spins a little bit more challenging because they do, um, you know, when they did initially make the, make the changes, people were struggling to get level fours, but now you've got pretty much from quite low level people are able because they've grown up with it yes yeah they're able to do all these weird positions and uh, absolutely yeah that actually makes some of the weird positions look pretty good yeah they do indeed in, yeah. the, in the beginning of the system they didn't they, yes. they they in fair criticism they weren't as attractive but now they are yes they really are yeah i love the addition of the vocals how about you yes perfect when, when they uh, announced it, I was umming and ahhing and thinking, well, it's going to change the score, but it's absolutely worked. If you take Rocket Man, for example, as a classic example, it worked perfectly. Yeah. And absolutely. And there's been many, many more. So it's, it's just opened up the, the scope and the, the opportunity for the skaters to express themselves even more, which is so important. Well, whether watching live in the arena or at home on TV, you have a wider variety of music. It's more entertaining. Yeah. I'm with that all the way. And it is, it's always a, a joy to see how uh, you've got different people from different nationalities, different cultures, and same set of rules, but they come up with a completely different concept on the program. And that's, that's one of the wonderful things about figure skating. Absolutely. Some good decisions have been made, more hopefully to come. More engagement with the fans. Of course, we've got the... Uh, the get up uh, campaign when yep. you're down to get back up and keep going. It's a wonderful campaign by the ISU and watch a video on the ISU.org. Stories will be coming in about athletes and, and their challenges throughout their career and how they got back up and continued on. And uh, there'll be an outreach to fans as well. So stay tuned for more on that initiative. Yeah, I do that. I, I do that every day. I don't know about you. I, for me, just getting <laughs> up out of bed is the, is the achievement, right? Fantastic. There he is, center ice, Mr. Hanyu. Thank you. We will now continue with the next victory ceremony. And he's thanking the fans for their love, their support. And he should be congratulated and thanked in such a way. The Japanese fans are so wonderful and caring for all the skaters in the competition. 
Class F by a class man. Nicely done.